Migratory birds roam freely across national frontiers. The Ramsar Convention aims to protect their resting places around the world. There are 13 protected areas in Japan, among them the twin lakes of Izunuma and Uchinuma. These two ice-free lakes in Miyagi Prefecture provide an ideal winter home for migratory waterfowl that come here from Siberia and the far north to pass the winter months from October to March. A lakeside sanctuary center caters to the human visitors who flock here to watch the birds. Over 40,000 white-fronted geese, 80% of all those visiting Japan, spend the winter months on these lakes. The lakes are at the center of a fertile farming region. Rice fields, lying fallow after the autumn harvest, make good feeding grounds for the geese. Tetsuo Shimada, a researcher studying the white-fronted goose, is discovering new facts about its life cycle by sampling goose droppings. The geese like it here, not just because of the lake environment, but because of the surrounding countryside too. The white-fronted goose is very fastidious, and any environment it chooses attracts most other waterfowl too. In May and June, local people plant wild rice, a favorite food of swans. The rice stalks form an important part of the swan's diet in winter. For over 20 years, this group, led by Masayoshi Chiba, has been feeding the birds. Twice a day, they feed the lake's swans and ducks using rice given by local farmers. These birds would find it hard to survive the winter without help from the local community. We've been feeding them for so long now that the birds seem to treat us as friends. Local school children visit the lakes to study the wildlife. Today's project is to classify the kinds of duck according to differences in their eyes, beaks, and feather colors. For over 50 years, Ikuo Sato has fished these lakes. Since the area was protected by the Ramsar Convention, the fishermen only work while the birds are away feeding. I think more birds are coming here not just for the lake's special environment, but because they know our people will look after them. The beauty of these lakes and their wildlife makes them a small paradise for human visitors, too. Well before first light, people start gathering at the lakeside for the area's most spectacular sight. White-fronted geese taking flight at the break of day. As dawn reddens the eastern sky, thousands of birds take to the air. A rare sanctuary where wild birds and people live together in peace. This is also a place of great natural beauty, to be cherished now and for the sake of future generations.